Welcome back, Star Wars fans, to the Hyperspace Database. I'm Jonesy the Mandalorian, your host here with today's topic, the Theta Class Shuttle. The Theta Class T2C Shuttle was developed by Cygnus Spaceworks some 10 years after the New Sith Wars, and was used extensively by the Galactic Republic and later the Galactic Empire. The ship was 61 feet long, 96 feet wide, and 61 feet high. It had a maximum atmospheric speed of around 1,243 miles per hour. It was equipped with a Class I hyperdrive and ray shields. The Theta was armed with one aft laser cannon and two front quad laser cannons, which could both be computer controlled from the cockpit. The Theta Class T2C shuttle was a triple wing personnel shuttle, used primarily to transport important military officers as well as senators and other political bigwigs. The shuttle was heavily used because of its powerful ray shields and excellent speed and maneuverability. It was originally developed per a special order from Chancellor Palpatine, and was mostly used by Republic military personnel. Though, according to legend sources, some were known to be used by senators and wealthy individuals who wanted a more secure way of being transported from ships to bases and other installations. Because the ship was well defended and very fast, it was in high demand by those that could get their hands on them. The ships saw use through the Clone Wars by the Galactic Republic and it was known that Chancellor Palpatine used one in his many visits to foreign worlds during this conflict. After the Jedi Purge and establishment of the Empire, Palpatine used a Theta-class shuttle to rush to the aid of Darth Vader on Mustafar, where he had just lost his duel with Obi-Wan Kenobi, as seen in Revenge of the Sith. This Theta-class shuttle was heavily modified by Warthan's Wizards, who were an elite group of the most prominent starship technicians in the galaxy at the time. This model had upgraded shielding, engines, and was equipped with an emergency medical bay in case some bodily harm came to the Emperor. It was also upgraded to house a hyperwave reflector for deep space communications to the Imperial forces of the galaxy. It secretly held onboard torture devices and Sith artifacts, as the Emperor could use it as a mobile command base if necessary. Here's a fun fact, Darth Vader used an all-black version of the T2C within weeks of the closing of the Clone Wars until it was destroyed during the first Imperial invasion of Kashyyyk. The Theta-class T2C was eventually replaced by the Imperial Lambda-class shuttle, though many Thetas were still flown by traders, smugglers, or the Rebel Alliance. Some of the ships even became collector's items and were valued for their classic design and aesthetic, while others were being used by the Empire as support vessels. The Theta makes its most notable appearance in the movie Revenge of the Sith, when the Emperor travels to Mustafar to save Darth Vader. The ship also appears in several different comic books, such as the Dark Times series, where one is commandeered by Jedi Master Kukruk after Order 66, and in Darth Vader and the Ninth Assassin, when Darth Vader travels with two royal guards to root out the beings behind a failed assassination attempt on the Emperor. A Lego set of Palpatine's shuttle was developed in 2010, which included minifigures of Darth Vader, the Emperor, a 2-1B surgical droid, and a clone pilot. One of the most popular appearances of the T2C shuttle appears in the classic Battlefront 2 video game, in which it functions as a troop transport with several different types of weapons than its movie counterpart. The speed of the ship is toned down for the game, as well as its maneuverability and heavy shielding, making it equivalent to the other troop transport ships that were used by other factions. The Theta-class T2C was a very fast and well-armored shuttle used by the Galactic Republic and Imperial Navy and was personally used by the Emperor and Darth Vader until the development of the newer Lambda-class shuttle, though the ship was still used and greatly valued for its heavy shielding and impressive atmospheric speed. Want to know more about great Star Wars topics like this one? Stick around to the end for some secret trivia, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and the bell to never miss an episode. Be sure to chat with me in the comments too, because I really want to hear from you guys. Super special shout out to my Gold Captain level Patreon supporters Nick Sutfin, Miss2003, and Matthew Scott. Your support is so, so much appreciated. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to chat with me in the comments and just talk about this and other Star Wars stuff. I love hearing from you guys. Also, be sure to check out the show on social media too and chat with me there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.